All right, so the next theorem we have to prove for the final is continuity of probabilities of increasing events. So the statement of the, so it's, uh, we're proving continuity of probability. So here's the statement of the theorem. Let A1, A2, uh, be an increasing sequence of events. That is, uh, so we have a sub k is a subset of a sub k plus 1. Now, if we have a is equal to the union of all of our a's, then the probability of a is equal to the limit as n goes to infinity of the probability of a sub n. So that's the statement of the continuity of probabilities theorem. So let's prove it. So proof. So here's what we're going to do to prove this. This is how they do it in the book. So we are going to define the event of e sub i is equal to a sub i set difference with a sub i minus 1. Now, uh, a is equal to uh, a1 union b2 union b3, and you just carry that union out. Uh, and it's a disjoint union of all of these. The way you can see that is because you're getting A1 from the A1. Uh, B2 is A2 minus A1. And so you get everything in A2 that's not in A1. You do the same thing with B3. And since it's increasing, this becomes a disjoint union. So the probability of A is equal to probability of A1 plus sum of the probability of bk. But what's the probability of bk? Well, if this is equal to probability a1 plus a sum of the probability of a sub k minus the probability of a sub k minus 1. So notice we're going to end up telescoping with this series because when you have 2, you're going to get uh, minus a sub 1 plus a sub 2. But when you have 3, minus a sub 3 plus uh, minus a sub 2 plus a sub 3. And so it's going to collapse and it's going to equal the limit as n approaches infinity, the probability of a sub n, which is what we wanted to show. So yeah, that's continuity of probabilities.